Fascinating. It's, it's just fascinating. Your book also talks about a bombshell discovery made by the CIA, that being the Soviet Union's foreign military and a intelligence agency was behind the assassination attempt of John Paul II, and two members of that agency still serve under Putin. Can that possibly be true? Well, I don't know. Uh, yeah, the, the agencies that were involved were the Soviet GRU, which okay. was military intelligence. They really ordered the hits. Uh, the KGB, everybody looked to the KGB at the time, and it's one of the reasons why nobody was able to, to figure this out. Everybody was pinging their KGB contacts to try to find out if the KGB w was involved. And a lot of Western intelligence agencies couldn't find anything. And it wasn't until a, a very small-knit group under CIA Director Bill Casey looked toward the Soviet GRU, military intelligence, that they found the trail. And you know, old cold warriors will realize this. A lot of modern audiences won't. But if you really want to know where the bodies were buried and who did the worst, ugliest hits and the nastiest jobs in the old Soviet Union, it was a GRU. But they did it with the, with the knowledge, the go-ahead, and the approval of the head of the KGB, which was Yuri Andropov. And, and, and yeah, to add intrigue to this, Vladimir Putin was employed by the KGB at the time. Yeah. And, and you know, I want to be very clear. I don't want to try to suggest something otherwise. There's no way Putin would have known about this. Okay. This was super, super tight, super high level, and he was way too low on the ladder. But I think what could be a possibility is, is that maybe one of the reasons all this material still isn't out today, 30-some years after it happened, is that Vladimir Putin has said that the collapse of the Soviet Union was the greatest catastrophe of the end of the 20th century. He's been a major protector of the GRU, of the KGB. Right. The KGB has changed names, although uh, Putin's reconstituting it. The GRU has been a rock. They've never changed names. So it's quite possible that, that Putin today, although he, I'm sure he didn't back then, it's quite possible that today he might well know exactly what happened. Well, I, I have to ask you, why they would want to take out the the Pope? I mean, what? I get that he came out of Poland, which was a which was a, a collapsing communist state. But but where's the gain and what's the purpose? I know why in the world? It's just unimaginable that somebody that an organization, a country, would try to kill a Pope. But but that shows one uh, what Reagan and Casey and Bill Clark and those guys said. This was truly an evil empire. Uh, two, they really genuinely hated religion. Uh, they hated the Catholic Church. They hated all churches. I mean, they had, they had led the charge against Pope Pius XII, calling him Hitler's pope. That was actually a phrase that started by Radio Moscow under mm. Stalin in the 1940s. So they did character assassination of him. And it really shows that they considered the election of this Polish pope to be a literal, you know, mortal threat to their, to their communist empire. Which is why Reagan understood that the pope was so important. So really, Reagan and the Soviets agree. I mean, this pope is, is going to be pivotal in what happens in the Cold War. So for Reagan, it meant I need to reach out and make him an ally. And I think for Moscow, it meant we need to get rid of him. 